Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I'm just checking my microphone yes indeed it is switched on so good morning and welcome back right today more from KS Craft and we are going to be doing this die which is now all snipped apart and this is the large penguin this can be a greeting card it can be a uh, shaker if you do a very narrow outline it can be a mini album but I am going to be doing it as a card and I'm also going to be using a little bit of ephemera so this is really quick and easy to do I was going to use my box section but it was kind of like too deep for the arms and I didn't think it was going to look right so I'm going to have to use that on something else so I've been organised and I have cut pieces out right the little bit of ephemera that we're going to use is from the creative path and it's a little sort of pastel tree some berries a couple of little hearts and a little silver star that's just to fill in the space that's going to be uh, between the scarf and i'll show you that now right you're going to need to cut out two eyes a beak and two cheeks so I'm just going to move those to here so that I don't lose them. You're going to need a white top section and a black base section. So that goes onto there. Now I hope my, my whole penguin is going to fit in. I tried to get the camera right. Oh, there we go. Now yeah, we can see everything. You cut the, uh, I don't know what that's called on a penguin. I'm going to call it the mask area. So that will go on to there and you can see just how quick, you know, that comes together. I'll get rid of my blur. There we go. Then I've cut two sections of the end of a scarf because I want mine to kind of like loop over like that. And then you've got one section of this that goes along here. So I kind of want my scarf to be all nice and doubled up. And of course we've got the eyes, the beak and the cheek which will be situated into here. And to turn it into a card you're going to need another one of these white layers. Now there is a slightly larger die that you can use but for some reason I decided to go ahead and just do the stitched ones because I liked it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip over the black base and we're going to put our card base down you can see it's slightly smaller that's not a problem as long as you line up at the bottom which of course is where it's going to stand up so you can just kind of skew it fit into whichever direction you want just as long as it lines up here so I'm just going to be gluing that piece down as soon as I've scored it so I'm just going to bring in my scoreboard and you don't need to score too high up on this one so I'm just going to put that there and get that tool off there so let's have a look what we've got here I'm going to butt that up and make sure that it's straight and I think I'm just going to go for one and a quarter so there we are I'm one and a quarter up and I think that's going to stand up nicely Right, so now to glue it down, I'm just getting my fluffy bits off the back. I've got my glue bottle, just grab the pin. And as usual, we're just going to glue down to the score line. I go all the way around there. And as I said, because for some silly reason, I use the, uh, the top layer. Uh, section of the die and not the right bit it's going to be slightly smaller but I'm not bothered because it might kind of give the impression of uh, a penguin on the back of it so that you could add another face if you wanted to right, I really do want to line that bit up at least now I'm just going to bend up the kickstand so that that doesn't get glued down and so now we've got a penguin that looks like that at the bottom and that should stand up 
let's make sure we push that. Let's try bending it first. There we go. Ooh, am I top heavy? I might not have done that enough, you know. Oh, that's not good. And it's a bit too late to pull that off. So it's probably that you're going to have to go two inches. Well, anyway, I'm sharing my error with you. I don't know if I can kickstand the front of that. It might weight down with some stuff on it in a minute. Let's wait and find out. Goodness gracious me. What a way to start my morning. But never mind. So here we go with the top layer. And we're going to put this in. And I'm just going to line that up with my base as well. And we should get a nice border all the way around. There we go. Now the head section. As I said, this is really, really quick. And I have a feeling that my head and my scarf bits are going to weight it down. So it could be that, you know, it has to be. I'm just going to move that in. That it needs to be a two inch section at the back there. Right, I've got a bit of glue that I don't want, so rub that off with my nail for a minute. Let's see what weight that did to it. Ooh, yeah. So remember to score it at two inches to do the card. Right, the next thing I'm going to pop on is the scarf because where you've got this is kind of like how you're going to create the face in relation to the face because sometimes placement of eyes and uh, nose can make your character either cute or, or mean looking and the last thing you want is a mean looking penguin. Yeah, so I'm just gluing at the top on my scarf. And I am going to curl this up, so I want it up enough that it's off the base there. And then I'm going to do the same with this bit here. And then we'll fluff it up once it's dry. I'm going to go a little bit higher there. There we go. So we've got a nice little doubled up scarf and it looks like, you know, it's thickly rolled across the top. To make the penguin look even warmer. I'm still trying to get that off. Right, next thing is the beak. So I'm pretty sure that the largest bit goes at the top there. And my beak, I'm going to have it right there. So make sure I'm straight. I think that's correct. And you don't have to bother putting any white pieces in here because your white cardstock is there. So, you know, as I was saying, placement of eyes and cuteness, you know, that does not look so cute. That's kind of like more grown up. So the further out you go, the cuter, if, as long as you've got no glue on your fingers, the cuter your character is going to look. So I kind of like mine at about a quarter inch spacing and just above, yeah, just above the beak. So I'm quite happy with that. I do have my pickup tool because I've got a bit of glue on my fingers. So I kind of roughly know where I'm going here. So I'm going to work on the outside area of the eye and I'm going to dab my glue there. So I've been very brave and I've committed and I'm just trying to put the pin back in the glue bottle. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to take this over to here. And over to here. Yeah. 
I think that's even. I kind of like the spacing on that. I'm going to look at it because I'm not sure, but that one might need to go a little bit there. There. I will commit myself to that. And then, of course, we've got two little cheeks that are cut in pink cardstock. And entirely up to you where about you place those. I'm going to go back here for my cheeks. Put a bit more down. Pick up tool once again. And I kind of got that lined up with the beak. So I've gone a bit blurred to apologise. Let's try and get that back got some bright sunshine coming out the window at the moment there we go so I just want to make sure that those are level and I think that that is it now apart from the fact that I completely you know <laughs> ruins the kickstands by not doing it high enough this is seriously quick and cute now I'm going to glue some berries behind my tree so I'm just going to flip that over put some glue here because then I'm going to use some foam so I'm just kind of like creating my embellishment and then I just want to look at that on the penguin just to see how that looks if I want berries coming out there yeah I think I will actually so I'm gonna go down on this side and have another little squidgy of glue and have my berries coming from there right so that has got to have some foam on it and these are going to be connected with a little bit of glue I'm just gonna go like layer on top so I'm going to put a little bit there, pop that onto there and another little bit and then I'm going to add my little tiny silver star just onto there like that. Now I'm just going to give those a second to dry, I've got a little bit of humidity okay they should be able to have their little foamy dots now and I've also got my white paint pen here so I'm just going to put just a little line here and a couple of little dots because I just like the idea of doing that just adds a little bit of something so that's that in fact I think I'm going to add a dot here as well I'm going to have another little dot there you can just go around dotting things until you get the cuteness that you desire there we go right I like that I think that's cute right so foam tape or shall I say foam pads these are uh, Dollar Tree ones I've had these for quite a while and I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure when I saw them in the packaging the other day when I was in there um, that they've shrunk them down so that you get fewer but uh, they're still worth the money right and I'll just cut that one in half so let's grab my heart pop that onto there yep that's hidden I'm going to have this little bit on top of my scarf I think just like that just to give it a little bit of decoration and then for my tree as I said you've got that space underneath um, the scarf area you could pop a sentiment in there if you wanted to and I'm just going to go here just make sure that I'm straight so I've got a little bit of decoration on my penguin and I don't know what that is but I'm going to get that off there we go 
but what a shame i mean i don't know if putting this on has weighted it down but i've got the feeling oh that it hasn't but if i'd have done it a little bit higher up do you know what i mean so make sure that you do yours higher up i've got mine at an inch and a quarter so make sure you know you're doing two inches and it's going to stand up absolutely perfectly but that is our little penguin i just think that's so sweet so quick so easy right i thank you so much for joining me today and we are up again tomorrow with more from ks craft and i've got a couple of those uh, tote bags to do so let's do those thanks so much for joining me today have a wonderful day and as usual all links below bye